Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate you joining me and watching my hauls. If this is your first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. I'm working really hard at growing and be becoming just a little bit bigger and I just enjoy doing this, so I hope you enjoy following me. Please like this video, it helps me out a lot. Feel free to add a comment down below, ask a question, say hello, anything. Just help, help out my channel by writing a comment. So today's haul is a Dollar Tree haul, and in this Dollar Tree haul, I'm going to be completely honest, is a lot of kids stuff. I have managed to pick up a whole bunch of books through several of my journeys before my three kids, as well as some for myself. I have some little added this and that's for our summer gifts to the kids or summer fun that we're gonna be able to do through the summer. I have the party stuff that I've gotten for my daughter's birthday party, which is going to happen in August. So I think I've mentioned in the past that I have three kiddos. We have three parties or birthdays that happen kind of throughout the summer. We have the one at the end of May, one in August, and one in September. So as I'm out and about, I try to pick up the stuff that I need for all their parties. So then that way, by the time their birthday party comes, I'm all ready for it. So I have a handful of stuff that I've gotten for her party. And with that, I'm going to get started on the fun stuff that I've picked up. So first I'm going to show these. I was so excited to find these. They are a snorkel and goggle set. So you get a pair of goggles and a snorkel in here for a dollar, which is awesome because usually it's just the goggles. I honestly don't know how well the snorkels are going to work, but they have the little gripper on there. I assume they bite down on, put the whole thing in their mouth. And as long as that doesn't go underwater, I think we'll be good. And I think the kids will all enjoy having one. So luckily they have three different colors. I got the red for my oldest, the purple for my daughter, and the blue for my youngest. And we will try these out this summer, possibly at a swimming pool, maybe at a lake. We will have to just play it by ear and see. I picked up this really cute phone stand. It is a pink sloth. When I am doing dishes or cleaning or just doing stuff around the house, I really like to listen to the true crime YouTube videos. Bailey Sarian and Kendall Ray are my absolute favorite true crime YouTubers. I highly suggest joining and subscribing to their channels if you like true crime. They are amazing. If I remember, I'll link them down below. And there's another one I just started watching her. Oh, Harlow. Her last name is Stephanie Harlow, I think is her name. I just started watching her as well. So I love all of their YouTube channels. I love their true crime that they do. So I like to turn one of those on because I don't have to watch it. Like when I am watching hauls that, you know, you kind of have to keep an eye and see what people are showing. Theirs are just telling true crime stories. And so I can listen as I'm doing the dishes or cleaning or doing the things. So I got this to put in my kitchen. So when I'm doing dishes, I can listen and have their YouTube going. So I'm excited for that. I picked up a few Hot Wheels. Some of my hauls I've mentioned my husband who absolutely loves Hot Wheels and he's so silly and here I am doing the same thing but all of these I just thought were hilarious. So this is the Car de Asada and it is a little car in the shape of a taco and I thought that was too darn cute. I got the Buns of Steel and so that's a purple little truck with a hamburger in the bed. Oh, and french fries coming out of the top. So, so cute. And then I got this glow-in-the-dark rubber ducky. It's a different theme, but super cute. And I actually picked up two of these. And I, the second time I thought I had grabbed one, but I wasn't for sure, for sure that I had grabbed one. So I picked up another one. So now I have two. And I thought those were super cute. I don't know which of the kids are getting those or if any of the kids are getting those because I like them. We will have to wait and see. But I thought that they were all adorable. Now keeping kind of along with some of the toys that I got, I got three of these grab bags. They say that they are Dog's House, the Puppy Friends Club. Um, I have learned from Jenny, I can't remember her, her YouTube name, but there's a way you look for the cheater codes so that you make sure you don't get doubles, but I couldn't find cheater codes on these because everything that they have are the same that I can tell. So they might be the same, but I have three kids. I got three of these. I think I've given them in the past to them and they liked them. So just a little fun thing to give to the kids. They all like the blind bags. So why not? I picked up these 
three change jars, like little banks. I have two hands, so I'll show them one at a time. So this one says snack savings. This one says cha-ching. And this one says fishing fund. So I figure I will give one to each of the kiddos. They love their money, they love their change. This is a good way to keep their pennies and just, you know, keep saving them up and have a place for them other than like just all over their floor and in their room because they're a hot mess with their money. So I got that for them. For the summer, I did pick up some puzzles. These are a two-in-one on each of these. So there's 240 pieces per puzzle. This one has some cute puppies and then some cute flowers in it. And this one has just candy and then the one that says sweets, candies, and candies. I thought they were both really cute. I hope we can do them. The kids get a little overwhelmed, anything over 100 pieces, so these are a little bit more. But what I like to do is get a piece of the foam board from the Dollar Tree and do our puzzle on the foam board because then that way if we don't get it done, we can still move it to the side and use whatever table we're doing the puzzle on and we can move that foam board around and not mess up the progress that we've done. So I have those for the days that we don't want to be outside playing but we want to be inside. And then I also grabbed these ones. So for the boys, because a lot of them always seem really girly, I got the dinosaur, the T-Rex. I got this one. I love palm trees, but then there's also the really cute dolphins on there. And then I got this really cute llama. I love alpaca. I think llamas are not as sweet. They're a little more stuck up, but I think alpacas are just dopey and sweet. So we'll pretend maybe that it's an alpaca. But either way, he was really cute, so I got those also for the kids to do for the summer. I picked up for my daughter some of these sun hats. She is quite honestly, quite honestly a little diva. Um, we're gonna be hanging out outside, we're gonna be on a boat, potentially going to the pool, and I can just envision her putting these on just to make sure with her sunglasses. So I grabbed her the two different sun hats. This one is kind of coming apart right there on the end, but I think it'll be okay for the summer. So. I got her those to, you know, block out the sun for her. Both the boys have a bunch of baseball caps already, and she has a couple pairs of, or a couple baseball caps, but I thought she just really liked those. And then these, I don't know if I've missed any. I don't know if this is the whole collection of these, but I don't think they work to actually hold drinks anywhere, but I just think they're really cute to blow up. I have a tear tray. They can potentially go on that when I do my summer decorating or they're just fun to play with in the hot tub or anything like that. So I picked up the seahorse. I of course picked up the flamingo. And I also grabbed the palm tree with like the little island. So I thought these were really, really cute and I decided that, you know, we had to have them. So I'll find a spot for them. Probably the hot tub or my tear tray are my two ideas. I have some stickers and some coloring books so lisa frank is you know from my youth i we've seen a lot of things that kind of resemble lisa frank but these are literally lisa frank stickers i don't know if i'm going to keep them i will probably give them to my daughter because they're all the things that she typically likes and they're all the bright colors they're just they're so much fun so these will probably go to my daughter but i saw them and i had to get them I then picked up some stickers probably for myself, probably just to have, I haven't decided yet, but they were all like really summery and fun. So this one's all about pool party. We have the umbrella, the beach ball, the one that literally says pool party. It looks like some scuba feet, sand castle, swim like a fish, just really cute. This one is got the flamingo, the summertime drink, a pineapple, the palm tree, the suitcase, a surfboard. I mean, just all the things that I absolutely love. We got this one. They look wooden, but they're not. We got the flamingo, the watermelon, the pineapple, palm tree, all the summer things. And then this one I loved the best. We have the flamingo on there, the pineapple, the surfboard. And the one I liked the best in this was the fact that it says Crazy Flamingo Lady. If you've watched any of my previous videos I'm pretty sure I say in almost all of them that I absolutely love flamingos I love pineapples flamingos palm trees all things summery they make me so happy this has the letters in it as well so 
crazy flamingo lady I feel like just seems to fit. It also says I love summer, welcome summer, sun kissed, say hello to summer. So just very summery stickers. Along with the summery stickers, I got a couple very summery coloring books. This way when it's really hot outside and we don't want to play outside, we can color inside. And these have the flamingos. So this one looks like it's more of an adult style coloring book. And so they're like not as just, you know, they're thicker pages, not as covered in stuff. A lot of flamingos in here, which, you know, I love flamingos. And then this says Tropical Party. So this is a more traditional coloring book, but all the summery vibes. Oh, and so many flamingos in this one too. It makes me so happy. So, oh, there's a little sloth as well. Super cute. So those are just for those days that we want to color and stay inside. And those are Mama's coloring books. Maybe I'll share, but we will see. And I found this at the Dollar Tree and I was just so excited. I honestly need to look for more because I think these would be great in gift baskets for the right individuals. It says fluent in sarcasm. And so it says whatever sprinkles your donuts, the struggle is real. Who cares anyway? I speak fluent sarcasm. Oh, I like this one. Everyone is the worst. And it has pineapples all around it. I mean, this is just awesome. I came, I saw, I left early. Get over it. I run on coffee and sarcasm. Me? Sensitive? Never. What are you looking at? Shh, I'm still asleep. I eat chocolate for your protection. So I thought that was a lot of fun. There's more than that. I didn't read all of them. It's 16 pages of passive aggressive art. It tells you on the back. So that's another one for during the summer. If we want to color, I have the option of coloring in those coloring books. Um, I got for my daughter. So her birthday is coming up. I will show some of the birthday themed stuff we picked up for her in just a second. But I found this and I was absolutely amazed that I found this at the Dollar Tree. It is the Squishy Mushy Secret Diary Set. And so it's got a little diary that has the lock and key on it. It has 60 sheets. We have two sticker sheets, one pen, a foam stamp, and an ink pad. And this was at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I've seen it one time and one time only. I actually seen the Smushy, Mushy, Smush, Smushy Wushy pens and I didn't realize it was the same thing and so I hopefully I run into those again because I think that that would be fun to add to the set she loves to write and so that would be really fun to add to it as a birthday gift for her but I'm going to give her this for her one of her birthday gifts this year super cute and a dollar and then I was so excited to find the Jojo pens I just love these I think that they are so cute with the big old bows on top they're since shut right now they just have the lid that comes off and on and those aren't the best because they are easily lost and then they write all over everything but these pens are just so cute i picked the mint green because that's her favorite and i picked the rainbow because i just feel like that's very much jojo and i like the rainbow one they had a pink one and maybe a white one as well so they had a lot of choices but those are super cute and i think she's gonna love them i will show you now so let's talk about her birthday so for her birthday we found this set at the Dollar Tree and I found this first in a set of napkins. So it's like the cute junk food is what it's called if you try to Google it and it's a junk food fun photo prompts. Now, I will be honest with you. If you see this and you like it, don't get your heart set on it because it is being discontinued. The Dollar Tree isn't like selling it really anymore. So when you go to the Dollar Trees, what you're finding is kind of what's just lingering and what's left over, which I have hit quite a few Dollar Trees trying to find as much of the set as I possibly can for her birthday because it is running low. It reminds me kind of a Shopkins. It gives me Shopkins vibes. It's all these really cute foods with little eyeballs and little smiles. So this is the photo booth prop set. Lorelai was with me when we found this. This is what made her decide that this is the theme that she wants. And then when I was out looking around trying to find more of the items, I grabbed one more because I make a poster board set for each of the kids. And it says happy birthday and all that fun stuff. And I figure with one of these, I'm going to put it on her poster board set because it's like the right size. I use the tri-fold poster boards that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And then the other one we'll use as a photo prop for her birthday party. So I got the photo prop sets. I was able to find tablecloths. 
and I grabbed three. One I thought maybe it could be the background for the photo booth prop thing, and then, you know, two for potentially some tables. And so I grabbed three of those when I found them. I have been able to find three different sets of napkins. And so we got the smaller set that just has all the foods on it like this, really close together. I found two of the bigger napkins, but there's two different ones. They, all of these come with 16 napkins inside. So this says happy birthday and it has just the four of them kind of right around it with the blue behind it. And then this other bigger one that has a lot of just the big foods on it, but a little bit further apart than the small napkins. So I was able to find the napkins. I was able to find the cups and these have eight in each of them. And so they're just the pink with the, the little foods around them. I was, and the last thing I've been able to find are the goodie bags, the treat bags. So this comes with 10 count and I grabbed two of them and they say happy birthday. They match one of the sets of napkins. So unfortunately I've not been able to find any plates that match this set and I have gone to a lot of Dollar Trees trying to complete this set. I have also gone to Google and I've Googled trying to see if I can order them somewhere and I've struggled even finding them to do that. They come up that saying that places have them but then they like don't or they're charging a lot for you know disposable plates. So my goal is to find them and if I don't I'll probably get a solid color that just matches. I did find at the Dollar Tree this set but it doesn't fully match so I don't know if I'm going to use it for the party. This has 18. This isn't, oh this is a Greenbrier. The tag just looks different. So this is a Greenbrier product. It has 18 plates but it doesn't fully match what we got going so I don't know if we're going to use these. I might just find the solid pink ones or solid kind of the mint teal color. We will see. So if you see those that I'm showing you and you like them, I'm sorry. I wouldn't get your heart set on them. If you happen to know somewhere where I can find the plates at a reasonable price, please leave a comment down below. I would love to have the help of finding the matching plates to complete the party. But I mean, it is what it is at this point and I did get a lot of the pieces. And so with that being the theme, what I plan to do is I've been getting these little foods. Well, these are the only ones I got so far. So I got these at the Dollar Tree. They have French fries, a cola, some hot dogs, a ketchup bottle and two chicken legs. I probably won't do the chicken legs, but all the other ones, my thought are I will add the googly eyes onto these foods and they will match the theme. And then I know that they have ones, little bags of food like this with ice cream. And I looked at Dollar Tree online and they still are selling them online. So I know I'll run into them at one of the stores. Every time I go into Dollar Tree, I look for the, the toy foods. And when I find them, I'm going to pick up the ones with the ice cream cones has ice cream cones and donuts. I think a little chocolate bar in it. And so I'm gonna grab those too and then I'll add the googly eyes and those will be some of the decoration pieces that I'll have for her party. And so I have both of those. I was also able to find some stickers that I feel like just really go well with the theme. And so that's a bunch of the different foods and they have little eyeballs on them. Some of them are actually googly eyes, some of them aren't but I thought that those were really cute and I will make those work somewhere. And these also are just little foods with eyeballs. Not quite as big, but they will they'll work. And if I don't add them to anything, then they'll just be hers. But I thought that they were really cute. And then I also found this big poofy sticker. And then this, along with the photo props, will be her happy birthday poster board. I thought that this would be a really cute addition to that. So. I got those stickers for that. I found to go along with her party. I got these little popcorn boxes. I feel like they match really well to like this guy right here, the, the popcorn with the eyes. And so I thought with this, I would add some eyeballs to them and either fill them with popcorn or with like yellow tissue paper to do it as, as one of the decorations for her party. It comes with five. And so I got that for that. I got this ice cream candle and I thought I could probably add two little googly eyes to that as well just to make it fit the theme and that one was really cute. Now this isn't fully the theme but it has donuts 
and the little unicorns that look like maybe they're a cupcake too. And it's called Food Yummies. And I can put googly eyes on the donuts. So that shows right there. There's the donuts and the little unicorn cupcake. But I figure I could add the eyes to the donuts and have those kind of match as well. Every year I have been doing the happy birthday balloons. I just love these. And so I got the happy B day and the number nine since she's turning nine this year. And I just like to hang those up somewhere to, you know, help her celebrate her ninth birthday. I was not shopping for a card for her yet, but I did just happen to see this one out of the corner of my eye. And it says for a sweetie who who's loved so much sparkling with laughter and sprinkled with fun sure hope that this birthday is your happiest one i just thought that was perfect a bunch of little food with eyeballs it totally fits the theme that we're going for and i also picked up these big gift bags i have one thing that i know is really big and we'll need to have a nice big gift bag to fit it in and so this one has cupcakes on it so it just kind of had that food theme and then this one says eat cake. It has pizza, cupcakes, um, tapes, balloons. So it kind of matched. The pizza made me really think about it. Oh, some popcorn falling out of the bag. So it kind of like gave me the vibes of, of the theme to be able to wrap it in. So I grabbed that. I got this wrapping paper for wrapping some of her gifts. So it's got watermelons, cherries, popsicles, suckers ice cream cones, limes, it says good vibes, it has a unicorn, sweet, so it kind of, you know, goes a little bit with it, so I figured why not, and then I grabbed this plastic wear, it's got the teal color, sparkles in it, so I thought that was really cute, something she'd really like, and so I might have to grab more forks. This is a 24 piece set, so hopefully it may or may not be enough forks in there. So I grabbed two for now. I'll have to kind of do a count, figure out how many guests we're gonna have if we need more of those, but I really like those. These ones always feel a lot more heavy duty than the other ones that they have. So I like this a lot. And then for party stuff, this is way back there. It's not for her, but I found this one for my son's, my youngest son's birthday party that's coming up. He has a party or a pirate theme. And I did get some pirate plates, but he also really likes sharks and all things in the water. So this says take a bite and it's a bunch of happy sharks. And there's 18 in this. Also the Greenbrier new tag that they have on their stuff. And I thought even maybe just for backup plates, if we need some extras for his upcoming birthday party, these will work. And we are at 23 minutes. So I will end this video there. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I had to show you today for the kiddo stuff and the party stuff. Again, if you have seen that theme party items anywhere, especially the plates, I would like the plates and the happy birthday banner, and I'm really struggling finding those. If you have any ideas of where I could look for that, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much, bye.